developed mm. and we had to infect the other bank with the same culture mm. which was almost impossible to do they wouldn't change or okay. ut4 was suspicious of the, of the bpi staff the bpi staff were also suspicious it used to be us and them uh, all alone and i tried hard to merge the two so we have one culture what was in the case was that uh, we also had because we didn't have bankers you did not bankers you mean. okay so then we had to actually recruit bankers from almost all the other banks some came from access bank uh, uba stand chart okay. wherever okay. and when they came because they were top bankers they were sitting on top of all the departments mm. so all of a sudden there's a gap between me and my normal staff because mm. they came in between with their cultures you understand mm, what I'm saying? Mm, don't want mm. the own culture and mm. they share yeah, culture, culture and, yeah. and, and, and spoil the culture. And uh, yeah. then, of course, because we had also changed the processes first, and now we this kind of amount of physical practice, and we have to do relationship banking and a whole lot of things, which mm. is not the same. Mm. Mm. So, long story short, what happened was that the uh, clients dis started defaulting on tears canon. Mm. And some of the staff will collude with the staff uh, with the with the client. Oh yeah, I know some. What about how to be a few who the kind of it? Who craft if you are friends or magic kind of boss? I said, it's got the over to your hand to the man can crave now the not fight for you. Fight you down. And all sort of things that happened. And your workers now, you know, yes, the workers, but the workers, staff, staff colluding with the. And then we also had problems with the energy sector because uh, the government wasn't paying the for foreign component and all sort of things and we were doing collateral management and all sort of so the net effect is that uh, we started making serious losses so we couldn't pay dividend in 2014 and then 2015 it was even worse hmm. bank of ghana has us to write off some loans we are right off yeah, the, virtually the bank has to recapitalize hmm. but we, we did and we put together a um, um, restructuring plan for the bank mm. to capitalize it, to improve on the collections, to get cheaper deposits, to, to have a look at the uh, risk management and all sort of things. Mm. And we shared it with Bank of Ghana that this is what, what we're going to do. So part of it was that we had to find more capital. Okay. And we were talking to Bank of Ghana about it. Now, so when this government came to be you know well we had already started the negotiation with the bank and we are seeing them all the time we have we have firmed up reconstruction plan a year government the AMPP. okay MPP government okay so i i personally was surprised that they took a decision to just close the bank without even informing us because just like that because bank here in closing the same year i was saying they watch it i mean see the issue is Whilst we were discussing with Bank of Ghana, at some point they had decided that mm -hmm. they would not go on with the discussion and uh, they were going to close the bank. But they didn't make it known to us. The way the bank was closed, I'm sure a few of you heard about it. And mm. Opa mm. before six, not police for any uh, rep uh, media for, I call him a Yebubu UT signage, sent Senia. Uh, and that, that's the way to close the bank. That's, but that is what happened. Now, incident is interesting enough. Number me me kukuru to me. We can make we can as normal. Me saw a me me sorry be seven thirty. We have a firm. My boy is here in Kakra. And this is started six o'clock. So the news was everywhere. Everywhere. Me ngwa na me tia. Abra wundi mukra. So then, it was when I put on my phone and who said, ah, calls. I have about 60 something calls. I had read. Mm. Then I called my daughter and said, ah, why is the whole world looking for me? Mm -hmm. No, I say, maintain you. I'm still feeling my sorry. Mm -hmm. No, I say, listen to any station. Now, uh, government has taken over UT Bank. Mm. So, true, true, I turned on the radio and it was the main news item. So I dressed up and drove to Accra. To come and meet Bank of Ghana for say why that action and what do mm -hmm. they have? Mm -hmm. They sit there on board. I'm going to make a big answer. Rather, I was taken to court uh, for investigation at Yoko, and then they took my passport and uh, 
Then they process my my documents for court, and I'm in court. I see. See how that's all. That's court. Tuesday, make court. Wow. And then the double agent say, "Yes, so best friend." And then bar, the bank no cry, it collapse here. Um, mainly hard facts, but it's interesting because. These are so-called Achim people, and I'm, I'm an Achim man, mm -hmm. and I was friends with all of them. Mm -hmm. So for them to come to power and do what they did without even concerns the Kofi Bertrand said, "Lose your bank is going bad," and you know whatever. Um, what you say? Uh, personal hatred or an agenda to have their own against me for whatever it is that I did. That is quite obvious. Now, your best friend, you know, to run a bank. My best friend. Who is my best friend? Uh, friend in all my whatever it is. Uh, no, no. I think what you're trying to say is that uh, the minister of finance. But interesting enough, he called me mm -hmm. the day before the bank was closed down, and mm -hmm. we talked about funny things and 